Move it, move it, get it wide, get it wide. Move them, good, great position. Other side, quickly, good. My session uh, this morning is possession to, to penetrate. You know, I want my teams to have possession, so a lot of the work I do will be with us having the ball and, and moving the ball. Passing and receiving skills are, are vital. Awareness is vital. The first drill is great for that because of the amount of players that will be in the area. Uh, they have to play in the half turn. They have to know where they're passing the ball next and that will continue right throughout the, the morning so that in the final drill, when we get those opportunities to turn and play forward and create overloads in wide areas or, or create overloads through the centre, then they have that quality to, to go and break them down. Think about the movements. Think about how we're going to open them up. Play. Go higher, go higher, go higher. Higher, higher. Don't be in the same corridor. Come inside. Come inside. One of you. Good. Good. It's dead. Well done. Think about you two. Hey. Think about when the ball's on the other side, where you can come right in the pitch. Yeah, you can stay wide or vice versa. But think about being positionally aware of where you are, yeah? Same on the other side. Don't get stuck right out there. When the ball's there, come inside, be a second striker. Or you come inside and allow him to create a 1v1. Play. Let's see if we can get a goal. Good. Play higher now, midfield. Good, Roy. I love it, Roy. Go back. Go back. Sorry to stop it. Come back, come back, come back. How wide are you? Right on the touch line. Who do you affect? The full back. Why did you run in there? Tell me why you ran in there. I didn't tell you to run in there. Why did you run? Space, yeah? Now there's space, yeah? Why are you coming over? Why did you decide to come over? Yeah, but, but he, you can, so you can, as he does this, where should you be going? In there, yeah? Where should you be going? In there, where should you be going? In there, you should be coming in the pitch to be secure. Yeah, so he's made a great run, but you come over, who do you bring with you? The centre half, yeah? If you spin that way, Go that way. What do you do? Good. Ball gets into Roy. We're in. Make that same run. Play the pass. Play for there. Good. Play. React. 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 Stay on the ball. Play, 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 good. Somebody wide, we need somebody wide, great run. Well done. Stead, stead, have a breather, good. Walk back into shape, centre halves. Now it's important when we're attacking, you're defending. Yeah, so that's twice now they've got out on a, on a counter-attack. So as everyone's attacking and we're trying to score, you are thinking defend. So you might bring full back in to mark there, or one of you's going and mark, but you can't stand two against none. Yeah, we've got an overload, so you have to make sure you go in and people, as it comes out, we win it and we attack again. Football's all about having that understanding that if, you know, you're, the player you're kind of closest to does something and you do something uh, opposite to that, to, to give the other team a constant problem. And I kept saying and uh, referring to wh when they are standing out, who are you affecting? You have to be constantly trying to affect the opposition, whether that's a centre-back, 
who's who's moving into an area to pull the centre forward away or or moving to get on the ball or the wide player coming inside to allow the full back to go high. You constantly, when you have the ball, have to be thinking, am I affecting the opposition to allow our team to keep possession easier? Good. Come up. If he goes inside, what does he need? Overlap, yeah? So you came inside and you're still standing here and we're trying to score a goal. Do you understand fullbacks, both fullbacks? So when that whistle goes, you've got a relationship with your wide player. If you want, great, you come inside. So now I can go, yes. So you get it, you can give it him. Then I'm overlap, down, cross, go. Or if you stay wide, where are you going to go? You can go in there, go and play in there, stand in there. Yeah, so when we're attacking, the fullbacks are involved. We've still got two central midfield players behind the ball. You have to be willing to adapt. You have to be ready to adapt. So your knowledge of the game uh, has to be good enough that you can see things happen within the session and be willing to change. So what you've got maybe written in your pocket or on your, your kind of chart at the side of the pitch, Yes, it's it's there as a plan and it guides you, but you also have to be willing to change. And uh, when you're working with players you don't know, that's another thing that the level might not be quite up to it. So you you have to put more floaters or you can take more floaters and you have to be ready to take it to whatever level you want. But if you can't quite get there in that session, then it doesn't mean that the session has been a failure. It means that, you know, you've got other things you have to work on before you get there. So plan and prepare and be ready, but also you know, be intuitive throughout the session and, and be willing to adapt would be my, my biggest thing for, for coaches. To see the full coaching course and for more exclusive content from top-level professional and academy coaches, subscribe to the Coaches Voice Academy at academy.coachesvoice.com.